as I've said many times, uh, I, uh, I'm one of the few coaches in the country that gets to play at their alma mater in front of their friends and family where their mother was a teacher, where I played. Uh, and so that goes hand in hand with going into the Hall of Fame because this community is very, very important to me. This university is very important to me. And uh, I have a little chip on my shoulder to try to make it as great a program as I can make it. Well, I was fortunate, you know, you, there's not many people in the world that get to coach LeBron James and uh, have that kind of talent around you and then get to come here and coach. And uh, I just happened to get there at 51 years old. I'm still an old guy. I mean, I'm not as old as some of those people that got in, but I'm older than a lot of them. So I still have a lot of good work to do. I still have tremendous uh, competitive desire and drive. and. I want to make it a great program, and when I don't have that competitiveness and drive, then I know it'll be time to get out. I think for me, uh, I'm probably different than most people in the mid-major. I'm completely happy being here. I, I don't have my eye on another job, and I think I can coach with a clear head because of that, because this is where I want to coach. Uh, and a lot of people laugh when I say that, well, if you could coach at Duke or you could coach in North Carolina, for me, this is my Duke in North Carolina, so uh, I have different goals than I did when I was 25 years old and a head coach. I, I just, I know what I want, I know what's important, and uh, I'm content with where I am, but I still have that competitiveness. A lot of people that are in my situation don't have that drive and competitiveness. They're in retiree mode. I'm not, I'm not in that mode whatsoever.